Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here, and we're back with another Overwatch theory. But before we begin, let me tell you about the new series that's just started on the channel. The series is titled, Why We Can't Have. And in each video, I'll be taking a look at something that we see in games and explaining why they might not be possible in real life. So if you like these theory videos, I highly recommend you check that series out. Today's theory is all about McCree. The Wild Western style gunslinger certainly ticks all of the checkboxes of the cowboy archetype, especially when it comes to his gun, the Peacekeeper. The name, no doubt, is a reference to the cult peacemaker of Wild Western fame. It's a sleek six-shooter straight out of the movies, and this desperado certainly knows how to handle it. But we see them pull this move over and over again. He tosses a flashbang and then lets rip with his revolver, unloading all six rounds in a mere second. But how realistic is his fan the hammer move? Is it just a movie stunt? Or is this something actual gunslingers use? And if so, how effective is it? So firstly, if you're unaware of what fanning the hammer means, it's basically a shooting technique for revolvers where you use whichever hand is not on the trigger and you use that to pull the hammer back uh, on the gun in between shots while your trigger finger holds the trigger down. And this technique is normally used for single action revolvers. Now that's a specific type of revolver that was used in the olden days and that actually required you to manually pull the hammer back between shots. Nowadays, modern revolvers are what you call double action, and this is a type of revolver that doesn't require you to manually pull the hammer back, and you can fire it by simply pulling the trigger. The main difference is, pulling the trigger also pulls the hammer back and then fires the gun when the trigger reaches the end of the pull. And since McCree is able to fire his revolver completely one-handed, it's reasonable to assume that the Peacekeeper is in fact a double-action revolver. As far as I can tell, it is still possible to fan a double-action revolver as well. However, there's two very compelling reasons why you wouldn't. Firstly, you're damaging your gun. The fanning technique is actually discouraged by gun makers and owners because the method puts a lot of strain on the internal mechanisms of the weapon. Whether it's single or double action, it's still likely to damage the gun. Just imagine the amount of strain you're putting on it when you push the hammer back repeatedly very, very quickly, and the amount of slip that is likely to happen with the cylinders in the revolver itself, and on top of that, the damage to the trigger mechanism too. It's a lot of strain that the weapon is not typically built to handle. Secondly, it's woefully inaccurate. Because of the jerking and slamming motions involved, the gun is likely to be knocked off target during firing. Although the firing rate might be much higher, you're still significantly more likely to miss your target. Additionally, methods like these are very uncomfortable to employ if you have the gun raised to eye level, meaning you are literally shooting from the hip. But where did this all come from then? Well, the simple answer is, it looks cool. It's not that cowboys and gunslingers didn't know of such techniques, it's just that it was typically relegated to gun shows, fairs, or wherever trick shooting was typically shown off. According to famed Frontier Marshal, in fact a guy that has such a long history that his Wikipedia article is ridiculously long, a man named Wyatt Earp. If you're American, you probably have heard this name before. And he says that even renowned trick shooters would employ tried and true straight shooting when it came to gunfights instead of any fancy tricks. In fact, according to him, true gunfighters actually despised techniques like fanning the hammer and felt that anyone who used such techniques wouldn't last long in a fight. So basically what he's saying there is that when it comes to life and death, you take your time to shoot properly. You know, you aim down your sights, you take the time to pull the trigger, and you don't waste time with any fancy tricks. But trick shooters were still popular, and old western films made them even more so. So now when we think of a wild western gunslinger, we don't generally think of people like Wyatt Earp and the gunfight at OK Corral. We think of characters like those portrayed by Clint Eastwood, and by extension, Jesse McCree. But what do you guys think? Is this all just Hollywood nonsense, or do you think techniques like this could actually work? And if you were in an old western gunfight, what would your weapon of choice be? Let me know down in the comments below, and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions for upcoming theories down in the comments below. Let me know what you would like to see me talk about, and my name is Panzer, Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>